Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. I am a part-time reseller. I resell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Kitizen, and Tradesy. Uh, today I'm going to do a ship with me video, which is also a what sold video. Um, I have sales from eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. These sales are from uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I had a funeral to attend to and we traveled to Maryland and so I couldn't ship until Monday. I let all my buyers know that there would be a deleted, um, delayed shipping. Um, eBay gives you an option of changing your handling time. So I changed my handling time to four days. So today I'm doing all the shippings. It's going to be a long video. So I'm sorry for that, but I hope it's going to be a fun and um, informative video. Uh, the first sale I have for Poshmark are these Lululemon leggings. I was very confused when I picked them up at the thrift store because they looked very small and I thought it was Iviva. I could feel the quality, so I knew it was Iviva or Lululemon. But if you saw my last video, my last thr thrift haul, um, I found out that they were Lululemon on camera. So, um, yeah, they were in very good condition and they already sold. Um, so they were listed for less, for less than um, a week. They sold for $55 and I picked them up for $3.11. Next is a nice bundle. I love selling bundles and I usually give a much better deal um, than I would if somebody was buying just one piece. Uh, this buyer is also a seller. I believe she's buying this, these sweaters to resell, which I'm okay with. Some of them I had for a long time, like over two years, this one. And um, some others are newer um but she offered me a hundred dollars my price came down to 204 so she offered me a little bit under a hundred dollars and i countered with 125 and she declined so i was thinking about it how much do i have invested on all of these items and i had 11 dollars uh invested and some of them were there for two years or one year like this sweater even though I love this so much and I, I had a hard time parting with it because I really wanted to keep it. It's a 100% wool vintage sweater and I'll put a picture here. And um, But it didn't sell last year. I had it for over a year and I, I didn't wear it. So I'm thinking, why am I doing this? I should just let them go. $100 for five items so it comes down to twenty dollars an item i would like to get a, a little bit more for each one of them but i'm okay with uh getting rid of five different items in one transaction the next one was in the bundle was this uno and una i don't know i've never heard of the brand but i picked it up because it's red it's very fuzzy and very soft it's angora rabbit hair and nylon it's a vintage uh, sweater. I almost lost the sale, but I came, I went to the buyer and I messaged her and I said, I'm okay taking $100 and I'm glad she didn't change her mind about it. So she said, okay, let me put everything in a bundle again. And she sent the offer again and I accepted it. Another item on the bundle was this um, LL Bean 100% cotton sweater and the last one is a beanie it's a 100% cashmere red beanie hat from Tahari I would never let this go for $20 if she was just buying this one I I usually can get $35 for a cashmere hat but because she's taking so many things hopefully I can fit everything in this large flat rate box the buyer of this bundle tagged me on Instagram on this video of her showing off every single piece she bought from me. I was so excited to share with you guys. I asked her for permission and she said yes.
There it is. Next is this Columbia Cable Knit Scarf. Cable Knit is this um, pattern on the knit. So here's the logo, Columbia. I picked this up at the bins and I was very surprised when it sold for $25. Not an offer. I listed it at $25 and I was expecting to let it go for $15. But the buyer came and bought it outright. I usually use plastic because we never know where the package will be delivered, if it's gonna be in the rain. So I like to add the extra layer of protection. Okay, I have this huge bag. I bought it at the bins. It was in such good condition. Great shape. Just a little scratch here. And it's huge. It's reversible. So I sold it for $30. Now I'm trying to See where I can put it. I'm gonna put it in a large flat rate box. So this bag, unfortunately I don't have um, a big bag. So it's gonna go in a garbage bag that I cut the top so it doesn't look like a garbage bag. You know, the strings that you pull to tie. And I'm gonna put some tape on it. Then it will go in a large priority box, a large flat rate. Then I sold these bionic boots, ankle boots. This pair I also recently purchased. You can see my latest haul. They were listed less than two weeks. I'm gonna stuff them with uh, some tissue paper. They are brand new, but they have some scuffs on the toes and the back. I disclosed that, of course. Uh, the buyer was very sweet. She bought them on Thursday, she sent me an, a, an offer of $60, so I replied saying that I would accept her offer, but I was not going to be able to ship until Monday, and she was very sweet, and she said, well, I was expecting you to counter at $65, uh, and I'm okay with you shipping uh, them on Monday, so she said, make a uh, $65 counter, and I'll accept it, so I was like, why not? <laughs> She's giving me $5 extra, even though I told her that I was going to accept her $60 offer. So I love selling Bionics and I didn't know about them uh, until recently. I learned them from Ginger Marvin. I love their videos. They, sh they usually do videos like that. They don't show the shipping uh, side of it, but they show their daily sales. And I enjoy watching them. So yeah, I learned about this brand from them. Shipping is my least favorite part of the reselling business. <laughs> I wish I had somebody to ship for me. One more thing and this one is the most exciting sale of the week it's a big bundle it's not a big bundle it's a pricey bundle it was just a four item bundle that my buyer offered $230 for it's a very reasonable offer because the but bundle price was 284 I believe so that's a $54 discount and four items so this was a very bad buy <laughs> these are a flatter um, 
wool pants size zero. I bought them at uh, Marshalls for $18. And they sat and they sat and they sat and they sat. Um, they were originally $98. And I think I've had them for three years. Um, I think because they are a small size and they are wool, they are wool pants, they took forever. So this lady put them in a bundle along with this scarf. I'm going to put all of the pictures here. Uh, this I got for free from somebody on Facebook Marketplace. And she got this cabbie jacket that I also got for free from Facebook Market Marketplace. It's a size small. So, so far my investment is $18. The last thing was this gorgeous fur coat. It's real fur. Uh, let, me, let me try it on. It's not a coat, it's a cape. Try it on at least once before it's out the door. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Anyway, I bought this at the bins. So maybe $5 into it? $6? So my investment, let's say it's uh, $25. More or less. I usually reuse these uh, bags. They're not bags, they're garment bags um, from my husband's dry cleaning. Okay, fun fact, not really fun, but um, you see I have three pimples. I usually have very good skin. I never had acne, um, not even during puberty. So um, I bought one of those um, uh, blackhead removers, you know, that one that sucks your uh, pores to remove whatever is dirt you have inside. I bought one of those uh, from Amazon and I used it that's the second time I used it last Wednesday I used it for the second time the first time I got a pimple here but you know I thought you know I'm about to get my period it, that's what it is then this time I uh, cleaned my chin and two days later I had three pimples so I guess that's that thing does something to your skin that your skin reacts in a way that is not very pleasant right it makes you get all those pimples and they're painful pimples so i got three here and the other time i got one on my nose so i'm not going to use that thing anymore don't buy it so i got this box for free and i'm reusing it now this beauty first Now I have some eBay sales. I have this uh, bunting uh, snowsuit for, belong to my son. My mother-in-law gave it to him, so I spent zero dollars. So I sold it for $10. This is going, it's just a little bit over a pound. So I'm going to try to squeeze this into a padded flat rate envelope. If I don't get this into a padded flat rate, I'm going to have to pay $10 for it. A padded flat rate is uh, it's $7.91. So let's go! Close is fine. I'll just put a little bit of tape. So now I write down the zip code. It's 
So when I print all the labels, all I have to do is match the, lab the zip code to the zip code written on the package. So these are just some Joe jeans that belong to my stepdaughter. They weigh only 10 ounces. Another free to me item was this J. Crew Schoolboy Linen Blazer. Somebody posted on Facebook Marketplace that they were moving and had some clothes to donate. They didn't list what the items were, they just took a picture of a box with some clothes. Not a big box, but I decided since it was five minutes from my house, I decided to go and I was pleasantly surprised. There were a lot of things that I had to redonate, but uh, there were some gems like this J. Crew Schoolboy that I sold for $35. I could have gotten more if I waited because this is more of a summer item. It's a linen uh, blazer. It's a blue color great perfect for summer let me see how much is gonna weigh okay over a pound so these are two different sizes this one is a legal flat rate it's still cheaper than the padded flat rate so i like to have options and this one is just uh the flat rate envelope this is the cheapest of the three flat rate envelopes There it goes, it fits nicely. If it fits, it ships. This is going to California. If I didn't use this flat rate envelope, I would pay a lot more than $7.33. Uh, what else? Okay, L.L. Bean. This was a Bean's find. It's just a... An L.L. Bean jacket, rain breaker, rain jacket, something like that. This is the shell um, only. I believe this uh, jacket comes with lining. I sold it for $15 only, but it took me less than a month to sell it. And it was a bins find. So that also weighs over a pound. Flat rate envelope. These are just some Seychelles ankle booties that I bought at Nordstrom Rack. I always do retail arbitrage at Nordstrom Rack when they have their boot sale, shoe sales in general. Um, so I went they, when they were having 40% off boots and I bought this pair and I think everything averaged out to $17 per item. So I'm selling this for $59.99. I wish I could get more for them, but they were a size 5 and they are suede and they're blue. USPS shoe box. I like to put some air pockets inside so they don't move too much and get damaged in transit. I bought a pair of boots on Poshmark and received them today. Guess how they came wrapped in a poly mailer. That's it. Wrapped in some paper, but not enough cushion. You know, they could have gotten badly damaged in transit. But thank goodness the boots arrived all right. In my last sale, uh, it happened this morning, uh, were these Gap jeans, long and lean maternity jeans. Their boot cuts, and I sold them for $20 on Mercari.
for Mercari sales, if it's not a pair of shoes uh, or, or something bigger, uh, if it's just clothing that goes over a pound, I ship through UPS. Uh, it's a flat rate up to five pounds uh, for nine ninety nine. So um, I just put them in a eBay poly mailer that I get with my coupon discount. And that's it. So those are my sales. If you like videos like that, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.